In this video, I would like to show you how to create an accelerating slideshow here in After Effects. I already have a video on creating a regular slideshow that you might like to check out. I will quickly cover the bulk of that in the opening of this video. So here in the project panel, I have 12 images. So we need to select the images that we want in the slideshow and the order in which we select them is important. So the first slide that I want to see, I will click on that first, hold down the shift key, click on the last one. With those selected, I will grab anywhere and drag them down to the new composition button at the bottom of the project panel. And when I do, this dialog box will pop up just here. So let's quickly run through these settings. I will take a single composition, yes please. The dimensions of my slideshow will be based on my first image. This by the way is nice and easy as all of my images are already the same size. Yours don't have to be. Still duration. This is the length of time for each slide, which is two seconds and zero frames. Perfect. Don't need to add it to the render queue. Sequence layers. Without that, we will just get layers stacked on top of each other. With sequence layers turned on, they will appear one after the other, which of course is what we want in a slideshow. You don't have to have any overlap, but in this case, I'm thinking a 10 frame overlap will be perfect. And a transition of dissolve front layer. Yes, please. So let's choose OK. This is looking great, but I might just do a quick bit of cleanup before we review the slideshow, guys. So here in the project panel, when you've got lots of assets, it's not a bad idea to create yourself a little folder. I'll call this images. Select those images, drag them in. And the comp that was just created, it's defaulted to the name of the first image. I might just rename that as slideshow. Okay, so let's uh, give ourselves a little bit more room just here. And let's review our timeline. So this looks great. Let me just tap the spacebar to play through here. And we indeed have a nice slideshow going on just here. Each slide is two seconds with a 10 frame overlap. Actually, if I press the T key with everything selected, you can see it brings up the opacity settings just here. And we have all of these keyframes automatically generated for us. Fantastic. I'll just press T again to close that up. So we have successfully created a nice linear slideshow just here, but I did promise you an accelerating slideshow, didn't I? Now, it would get kind of tricky trying to manipulate the time with so many individual elements going on within this timeline. So here's the plan. We are going to take this slideshow composition, stick it inside of a, another composition, and then manipulate the slideshow from there. So we are going to be nesting compositions just here. So we have the slideshow composition just here. I'm going to drag it now to the new composition button at the bottom of the project panel. We have got a new slideshow just here. Actually, I'll rename this slideshow accelerating. So we are looking at the slideshow accelerating comp just now. Notice it only has one element and that element is the slideshow composition itself. So here is my slideshow composition just here, which remains unchanged. That's the slideshow that we just built. And then inside slideshow accelerating, we have just the slideshow composition. So we have nesting going on. I hope that makes sense, no worries. So the trick now is to apply a time manipulation technique to slideshow here inside of slideshow accelerating. So with slideshow selected just here, I'm going to come up to layer, Time, enable time remapping. So we get this time remap entry against the slideshow composition just here. And you can see we've got a couple of keyframes going on just here. So our composition is roughly 20 seconds long. Let's call it 20 seconds. So this keyframe here represents the start, and this keyframe here represents the end. So if I just grab this end keyframe and I'll drag it down to roughly the four second mark just here. Let's see what this has done for us. So again, we are in our parent composition. We are in slideshow accelerating. I'll tap the space bar just now to play through. So you can see it plays through the slideshow much faster, but then it's just holding on that last frame just there. So guys, all we've really managed to do at this point is shorten the slideshow from roughly 20 seconds down to roughly four seconds. But now that we've got these keyframes in place, we can now actually create an acceleration going on just here, and we can do that using the graph editor. So 
I'm clicking on time remap just here. There's a little button just here. It looks like a graph. When you click on that, it will open up the graph editor, which is what this is just down here. Now we still have time running from left to right, but this vertical axis now represents the elements within the time remap option just here. So these little guys just here are the same keyframes we saw a few moments ago. So you can see we've got this linear movement between these two keyframes. We just need to convert this straight line into a bendy line, for want of a better term. I'm going to select these two keyframes just there. Down in the bottom right just here, there's a couple of little buttons just here. The first one just here, Easy Ease, if I click on it, notice it's suddenly added these handles to these points, and we can actually manipulate those handles. So if I drag these around like so, that's pretty much the look I'm going for. And actually guys, if you're not exactly seeing what I'm seeing just here, there's another couple of little buttons just down here. There's an eyeball on the far left, to the right of it is another icon, and when you click on this, you should be seeing Edit Value Graph. If you were seeing Edit Speed Graph, the contents within this graph would be slightly different. You can manipulate that way if you choose. I just happen to be using this Edit Value Graph just here. Okay, so now that we've converted that straight line into this curve, let's see what we've got. So I'll bring the playhead back to the start, tap my spacebar. You can see it's starting out pretty slowly, but quite quickly it starts accelerating and then gets all the way to the end and again holds on the end frame. So this is working perfectly guys, and you can see that we can easily manipulate this. And actually just to prove to you that we can manipulate this after the fact, if I click on that same graph editor button to get out of there, you can see we can come back in here, do our normal thing. But should I wish to change that, simply click on time remap, go back into the graph, click on it, and we can easily manipulate those handles like so. When we get to the end just here, you can see it's holding on that last keyframe. Now, if that's what you want, that's perfect, but it's also just as likely that you might want to trim that away. So actually, let's get out of Graph Editor by clicking on that Graph Editor button one more time. So what I'm going to do is just hold down the Shift key and drag the playhead just here. I'm holding the Shift key to make sure it snaps to that last keyframe. And so what I'm thinking is I would like the main composition, the slideshow accelerating composition, to end just at this point here. So what I can do at this point is tap the N key on my keyboard. And what that has done is adjust the end of the work area. And now if I right mouse click just up here and I choose trim comp to work area, it has done just that. What was roughly a 20 second composition is now down to roughly a four second composition. I'll bring my playhead back to the start, tap my space bar, and that's the result just there. So that was creating an accelerating slideshow here inside of After Effects. I hope that helps. Catch you later.